Hey guys, welcome back to Exile. I am standing at the shores of Katra for a good reason. You are at the base of a huge spire of rock, with a large spring at the top. Clear glittering water, gleaming eerily, and the light of luminescent fungus above, showers down into a beautiful cascade. There's a very small rock formation here, and you can sort of walk around it, if you're careful. <laughs> Because this place is infested. And there's a tiny secret right here. The sight before you takes your breath away. This large hidden cave is filled with large flawless quartz crystals covering the floor and walls. They catch your light and reflect it back on a blinding rainbow. The crystals hum and vibrate gently the sound and motion is almost but not quite soothing. It's not hard to figure out what the problem is. Near the cave entrance, vandals have broken off a bunch of the crystals. The damage is interfering with the soothing effect of the crystal vibrations. And if we try to repair it, sadly you can fix the damage. You soon find that six crystals are missing, and you can't do anything until you have all of them. Now, this is another very, very fine side quest. That will take a while to finish. We will have to find these six uh, crystals pretty much scattered all over the northeastern quadrant of the entire game world. So essentially, this giant cave and pretty much all the waters uh, surrounding it. That little bit of sightseeing out of the way, I do believe it's time to go hunt some furries. Wait. Wait, so what do we have here? This is a small spring, a pleasant counterpane to the bare rock of this area. The runoff forms a small creek running down the river to the south. You take a drink and run away. As you do, you notice you have company. Oh, snap, and yeah, this place or this event pretty much serves as like an introduction to the lizard people. Luckily, these are just the normal type of lizards, just as with uh, the Nephilim. These guys have warriors, these guys have mages and priests, and pretty much everything in between. Um, a second big issue which I remember from uh, the Scalies as well, is that they seem to be a bit resistant to fire damage. So instead, I'm gonna try to rely on some uh, debuffs and some wound spells. These should do the trick. Yeah, there we go. That's good enough. God, there's a lot of them though. Can I just use one fireball, perhaps to show you? Ah, that's actually still okay for damage. That's not particularly as bad as I would have thought. Um, what else can I do? Can I wound this one? And then perhaps use a second fireball right here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So granted, uh, this fight went surprisingly well, which is a good sign, but um, that doesn't mean we don't have much worse waiting for us in the future. And this is pretty much a battlefield, which uh, which makes sense, as this is pretty much at a crossroads between the Nephilim, the Slitterike, and the humans. Okay, let's see, so the best way hypothetically into the Nephilim fortress is through the back, however, it is protected by a bunch of Nephilim camps, which we're gonna have to plow ourselves through if we ever have like any hope of actually getting in. I did go back to Murdis to sort of stock up on some food. So before we actually head into the place, we should be able to rest. Um, let's see. So as you can tell, we have been getting a bit stronger. These guys tend to go down in one hit, which is a great sign which is gonna be absolutely necessary 
if we want to have even a hope in like inside the fortress. Um, what can I do with you guys? I'm just gonna have you chill, to be honest. Can we drop a fireball? Um, maybe I should actually focus on the mage. Because he's gonna be the biggest pain in my ass. Can I perhaps cast a flame right on his face? Okay, that's good. Now you guys can all just sort of huddle up together. And ooh, wow, shit, are those two mages? Or shamans? I should find a way to deal with that pretty fast. Can I sort of send Robin around? Because I am going to fireball the shit out of this entire group. For extremely good reason. Um, and you. I'm gonna put you a teensy bit in the harm's way. However, we are going to use that position for a great purpose. And you, you can pretty much keep doing what you're doing. You're doing fine. Cool. Yeah, this should be over soon. Let's see. Smack you, run into you as fast as I can, and it's pretty much over. Smack you, smack you again. There we go. And that gives us quite a bit of loot as well. Maybe I will have enough reason to go back to town. Um, who's next? Can we just keep going? No fear. I'm assuming this is gonna be a bigger group as well. Let's just spread you guys out. Um, can you actually shoot at one of the mages? Yeah, that's perfect. That's ideal. And then you... Can we just slow? Can everybody just chill for a minute? While I sort this out. Um, I don't think you can reach with your wound spell. No. However, you... You can probably reach with, uh, with a flame spell, right? Ah, that didn't kill him. Ah, that's too bad. I was sort of counting on that. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna start chipping away then. Since you guys are not going down, um. Can I sort of eat a fireball right here? Look at that. And then you. Come on, this should be it. This is it for you. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then we can start pelting the other one. There we go. Advanced tactics. Cool. Superb role playing. Come one, come all. Um, do I still need my mages? I might as well go all out because I'm gonna rest anyway. I don't think I'm gonna head back to town. Mostly because I'm lazy, but, you know, I kind of want to get this thing going. Cool. Because, to be honest, things really start picking up once you finish this particular quest. This is like the first big one. And we got some loot, but not to mention enough to, like, actually have to go back for it. Um, I did see that one piece of armor though, a bronze breastplate, that's probably worth putting on. 5 and 2, so it's something for my warriors, but for whom? These guys are wearing bronze studded, which is 3 and 1. I think all of them, yeah. All of them, of course, except for my mages. So, I am going to give that to who has the least armor rating. Shield helmet studded. Shield helmet studded. And... Helmet studded. So I'm gonna give it to Robin. That seems like a good idea. Sweet. 
So let's take a little nap <sighs> and get ready to kick some ass. This area has accumulated what seems to be months of the forest refuse. One of the walls of the trash pit has a small corridor leading away. Yeah, so this, I believe, immediately gives us the option. Do we head into the back of the fortress? Or, oh no, wait, the alcove that they're talking about is probably the way we came in, yeah. So we pretty much have no choice but to enter in the back way. Who? Is this supposed to be the kitchen? I don't think so, I'm not too sure. I hope nobody's gotta hear the commotion, but there's a good chance. Let's see now. What do we have here? There's a stone stairway down. <sighs> this is basically a second refuse pit. So it would lead me to assume that there's not that much traffic going down here, so maybe it's a good idea to have a look. Problem is, the underbelly of uh, the Nephilim Fortress is extremely dark, so... Is that... What is that? No, there's something next to me. It's a cat. Can I talk to the cat? You see a small white cat, clearly well taken care of. Really? So they have normal cats here as well. Uh, cat says meow. Cat purrs. Ah, I see. Can I say meow too? I see. Meow purr meow. Good kitty. Good kitty. Um, extremely useless though. There's a secret exit down there. Is there another one? Or is that... That seems to be the only one. Right. Opens up into a cave system. With lizards. That might be an issue. If these cats... Yeah, they, these kitties actually train the lizards, so... They have a few um, tankier companions on their side, which is not good news for us. Fortunately, we have leveled quite a bit. Which was extremely necessary, because this is gonna be a dungeon of attrition. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, there's a drake down here. Okay, that is a serious problem. Drakes are nasty. As you can tell, they breathe fire. They're pretty much um, just tiny walking tanks. Complete with, a, complete with a fucking barrel. And casting flames probably won't do much. Oh, it does do damage. It does do damage, but not much. I'm gonna see if I can rely on my wound spells. And this thing is gonna take a decent amount of damage as well. Before we get it down. Um, Raven, you can just chill. Yeah, you can chill. I'm gonna have you... I'm gonna have you cast your wound spell because you're such a baller. And then, I guess I'm gonna have you do the same. There's no reason not to. I kinda wanna keep Raven spell points, um, to cast some light spells, you know? There we go, there we go. Luckily, there's only one. You paw through the assorted nastiness that makes up the Fire Drake's lair. You find nothing worth having. Too bad. It did drop a nice wand, though. I guess that's something. Okay, what else do we have down here? There's a locked door. Hmm. <coughs> oh, shit, spiders. I forgot, they have these little bastards down here as well. I should probably take you down quickly. I can't really afford to waste a lot of uh, mana on curing poison. There we go. Are we good? Hmm. Of course, as always, be on the lookout for secrets. 
perhaps hidden in a tiny swamp. Yes, I knew it. Oh fuck, yes. Hello. Yeah, no you don't, mate. Son of a bitch. Yes, he does. Okay. Um, we have to get rid of poison. There's just no way to keep it around, because you're gonna end up wasting more health points than you would waste mana points otherwise. Unless it just keeps happening. Um, where am I going? Small runes line the floor and the walls. Okay, it's a trap. It's a tarp. Um, can we dismantle it? Sweet. There's a narrow shaft in the ceiling. There are rungs bolted into it, which you could climb up. Really now? I actually kind of forgot this was here. Um, I sort of misremember this. I, I, I assumed that this was one way, going only from the top to the bottom, but apparently we can go vice versa as well. I've actually never tackled the Nephilim Fortress uh, this way before. I might actually give it a go. If you climb up here, you run into another um, trap. Can we get rid of it? There we go. And then what? Yes, I knew it! Yeah, I was right. We are in the bedroom of the boss of the Nephilim Fortress. <laughs> I am not kidding. This is happening. We skipped to the end. Fucking speed hacks. Okay, so first things first. Can we loot the room? And a notebook on the pedestal, stuffed full of various notes. Unfortunately, they are written in mage tongue. Yeah, this is basically the game saying I need to train in a mage lore before we will be able to read this book. And it's very important, so I'm gonna do that hopefully after we finish this dungeon. Can we get some loot, please? We get a baldric and a scroll. That's not great. That's, that's not ideal. Anything else? We're still on the lookout for an amulet. That's like the biggest, uh, the biggest thing we're looking for. Question now, of course, what is behind this door? Nothing? I don't remember there being nothing. It's just like a meeting room, it's an office. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, you saw that right. Anastasia casts Ice Bolt, immediately decks Raven. Hmm. So this is the leader of the Nephilim tribe. It's a human, gasp, he gads. And even worse, there's apparently no talking to her. So yeah, we head straight into combat. Problem is, this room is filled with, uh, uh not too much actually. There's a Nephar chieftain, which is basically a riot art bastard. And a Nephil chieftain, which is, you know, riot art bastard junior. Um. I do believe I want to deal with uh, this scary, somewhat ominous um, mage lady first. I would imagine that's a priority. Um, there we go. Deck you in the schnoz. Magic, magic. Okay, so first things first, we slow the group. Standard fare. Secondly, um, can we cast a powerful curse on the Nefar chieftain? make him a bit um, easier to sort of deal with. Next, we fireball. We fireball really, really hard in the face. Ooh, ooh, Jesus. Well, that's not great. Okay, I was expecting a bit more. Can we deal with this idiot? There we go. Okay, sweet. Um, this is going okay, actually. Since these guys are slowed down, I'm gonna get plenty of time to sort of heal my people, and, uh, I don't know, do what needs to be done. Um, slay the evil. Please slay the evil? No, not yet. She probably has plenty of hit points, so... Oh shit, that's one of the chieftains down. That's a good start. That's a great start. Um, can we just focus on the mage now? 
probably a good idea. And again, give it all you got. There we go. With a final blow, you slay Anastasia, powerful mage and traitor to humankind. You have handed the grave setback to the plans of the Nephilim in exile. Look at that like a baller. And that is how you speedrun <laughs> the Nephilim Fortress. Unfortunately, we don't have the quest item yet, so we're not quite done. And also, I'm going to explore the entire place anyway, so don't you worry about that. We get a gem, a helmet, a cursed halberd, thank you very much, and a baldric. That's completely useless. All of that is completely useless. But yeah, good show, good show. Um, since we're basically heading through the dungeon now in reverse, we might as well keep going. This is basically the room before the final boss fight, which is absolutely filled to the brim with assholes, if I'm not mistaken. And also a very uh, interesting special, which I'm gonna take care of. Yup. But first, slay some kitties. Yup. And some wound. It's just a matter of um killing the strongest dudes as efficiently as you can. You waste a bit of mana, but while you're walking around, you sort of regen it as well, so it's a bit give and take. I might leave the rest to my warriors, though. Can I not kill my dudes while you're at it? I would appreciate that very, very much. Don't particularly want any accidental whoopsies. There we go. Sweet. So there's a pot here in the middle. And there's a large cauldron here, filled with oil, being heated by a brazier. Running along the floor to the south of it is a narrow trench with slits in the bottom. It's a very good idea to get rid of this. The reason why this is here, this is exactly above the entrance, where we stood before. And basically if you just go wandering in like an idiot, they dump that oil right on your face. And you're not gonna have a good time. Oop, hello. So now we've dealt with, uh, I guess I should say the first of two boss rooms, sort of. There's still plenty to do across this entire fortress. Don't kill my dudes. Jesus Christ. I'm sort of cocky now because I slayed their chieftain, but um, I probably shouldn't be. This place is still dangerous. Um, can we just heal? I don't need that many hit points. As long as you don't get one hit KO'd, that's good enough. Oh, these are tough boys. These are tough, tough boys. Come on, down you go. Oh shit, there's more. There's a lot more. There we go, there we go. Anybody else? Anybody else want some fuck? No? Nobody? Ooh, there's a kitty. Kitty! Talk to the kitty. You see an extremely well-fed cat. His name is Meow. It rubs against your leg, wanting to be petted. Can we pet the cat? Pet the kitty. Meow. Meow. Okay, superb. Hmm. The stone stairway leads down. Yeah, this is gonna lead us back down to the first level, because I probably didn't mention this before, but the staircase we took from the basement took us all the way to the top. No, I don't want to head... Do I want to head down? I'm in the trophy room. I remember this. This room is a trophy room of some sort. Severed heads and broken weapons cover the walls. Hanging from a peg is a necklace. You reach for it, but realize it's brass and worthless. So this is not what we're looking for. And thus we have more. 
I'm not gonna explore the ground floor just yet. I'm gonna leave that for last because now we basically freed up um, the front exit. So we can basically go guns blazing. Exit at the front. The wall is covered with totems of various sorts. There is also in place of prominence a gold necklace. We get a gold necklace, however, I don't believe it's a quest item. So it's not what we're looking for, either. And thus our search continues. There's a little storage room here, I don't think there's anything in it. No secret passages either, no. Um... Can I just go around? Whoa, what the hell? What are you? It's an ogre, do you guys have like alliances or some shit? Yeah, down you go, buddy. No ogres in my lands. Ooh. Oh, wow, the ogre was hiding something. Which is... Money! Money's always good. Money's excellent. Um... Anything else? These seem to be the bedrooms. Or maybe the upper class bedrooms. Yeah, definitely. Maybe guard rooms? I don't know. There's no... There don't seem to be any, uh... Any secret passages, so... And a bedroom. Is that it? It might actually be. Ah, uh, the second floor is just a tad smaller than the... Than the ground floor, um... But we did miss one passage this way. Excuse me? Oh, shit, they're piling in. I can deal with you idiots, come on. Bring it on. There you go. Wow, that's a Nephar warrior going down into his. That's a very good sign. And that's a shaman stuck in a corner. Sucks to be you. Are you guys gonna keep piling from that corner? Because I'm just gonna keep smacking you in the face. It's not gonna help your cause. I guess they are. Makes it easier for me. I are, are you done? Can I have another? Thank you. Thank you. It's easy XP. Can I have another? Can we keep doing this forever and ever until I like become a party of demigods? Uh oh. Nephil Shaman cast bless. You had to, didn't you? You had to just keep waiting. Not get your ass kicked immediately. Like a bell ends. Anybody else? Anybody oh come on. No, you're just playing. Come on. Probably should heal that, though. Um, can we just cast a light heal? That's not great, is it? Heal for three. What's what's a heal for three? That's nothing. That's like... You fixed a scrape on my thumb. Thank you. We are in the middle of combat. Uh-oh. Okay, um, I might need to call in the mages. Because this is not going as planned. Um, yeah, just kick his ass. No. Go kick his ass. Oop. And a wound. Come on, please tell me that's it. You guys cannot seriously keep coming out there. It's like a fucking clown car. Are you done? Are you finally done? Jesus holy Christ. There's some more money. I want your money. Don't think you can get away with it. There we go. Anybody else? Ooh. Is this a prayer room? There's a large basalt altar here. 
it has ominous markings and radiates energy that is making you quite uncomfortable. I'll give you three guesses what's gonna happen if you desecrate it. You get a great feeling of satisfaction until... Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. In spawns two giant Gotham spellcasting demons. There's just no way to win this. It's impossible, so I'm not going to try. I am, however, going to come back for this. Hmm. So there's a bunch of bedrooms. <sighs> okay. What? Oh, you little asshole. You guys snuck up on us from behind, really. Like a bunch of, um, predators. I, I guess that makes sense, but still. It's so rude. There we go. I don't think there's anything here, to be honest. Except more assholes. Ah, why? Oh yeah, they keep spawning in though, if you ever actually wonder why. I think every dungeon has like a certain spawn rate, it just places random enemies to ruin your day. <laughs> What's in here? This is this one's locked. What's going on lads? What are you hiding? Hello. Um, it's just a room. There's nothing here. Uh, okay, sure, sure, sure. I guess it's one very, very privacy-oriented uh, Nephilim. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah. We sort of came in and chat on your altar. What are you gonna do about it? Actually, we didn't. Not yet, but we're gonna. Soon. There's a huge stone door here with a large bronze padlock. Fortunately, your bronze key opens it right up. There you go. This is the reason you need to find the bronze key. It's the only way to get in here. However, getting in here is not as easy as it sounds. This is the temple of the Nephilim. And as you would imagine, it's tough with spellcasters. I'm going to get my ass kicked. Um, shit. I shouldn't have done that. So, how do we get this started? Um, how about, how about, how about we bless Robin? And then you can sort of, uh... I guess you can just fireball something. How far are they? Not super far. I might get screwed. Oh. Uh-oh. Are you gonna kill somebody? Please don't kill anybody. No. That was close, though. I forgot the Nephar Shamans can actually cast Fireball, which, um, you know, they use with about as much vigor as I do, so... Do-do-do. I can fix this. It's fine. I can fix this. All I need to do is use Raven to slow group. That's what I should have done the first time around. And then you, I guess you guys are gonna have to like play some defense. Nine hit points. It's not great, but it's a start. I would have hoped to kill at least one of them by the end of this, but Maybe I should cure the poison instead. They cast a lot of Curse and Bless. That's actually in my favor. It's a lot worse when they do tons of damage. That's one down. That's two down. Let's fucking go. And now you. Have you crapped your pants yet? Or are you not wearing pants? I guess these are kitty people. They probably don't wear pants, but still. Have you shat your fur yet? 
Because you're gonna. People say you shit your fur when you die, so. There we go, time to finish off the last one. Cool. And see what we get out of this. <laughs> There's a thick book on the pedestal. It is apparently Nephilim religious text and worthless, okay? How about this one? This one's locked. There's a crude necklace, beads and talons on a leather thong. Take it. I don't think this is our quest item, but this is a goodie. This one's a goodie. Oops, try again. There we go. There's a gold necklace on the pedestal. It's a simple thing. A slender gold chain with a clasp. And da 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 da, we have our quest item. So if you ever want to speedrun this, you know, it's sort of easy to get to if you're willing to go through Anastasia's room. And there's just another kitty Bible. It's it's fine. So that finishes off the temple. And I believe the second floor. But we are still far from done with this place. We found what we're looking for, but since this is meant to be like a, a completionist let's play, we still have lots to do. Okay, so let's see if we can head down from the trophy room and oh shit! They came prepared, okay? Oh uh, wow, what a continu- Whoa, there's so many here! There's so many, okay, um... Hoo, hoo, hoo. Tactics, tactics fail me. Slow group, yes. Slow absolutely fucking everything. And then blast it to pieces. That's what we- no, 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 you- you are going to heal. Specifically, you are going to heal Robin. Heal Robin. Thank you. And you. I'd love to have you cast fireballs, but you're in a bit of a bad spot for that. Can you do something else? Um, can you do something useful? And Venom. I haven't tried this one before, and Venom is actually a good idea. It basically magically poisons a weapon. Might be useful. Okay, so we're gonna have our two melee guys deal with the front. We're gonna have Robin. What I'd love Robin to do is shoot the shamans. That's one. He didn't get poisoned though. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna have to bring in the heavy guns. Let's see if we can throw some fireballs. That was perfect. That was ideal. Now you can wound the archer. And you should be able to fireball. Right there. And that cleans the room, just a teensy bit. Ideal. Gives us quite a bit of pocket money as well. Um, yeah, that was everything here, so can we go down? What I'm gonna try to do is essentially get back to where we were. Which seems to be down here. What is this? Oh shit, did I just stumble into the dining hall? I did. There's quite a few here. Hopefully no spellcaster though. I think we may have seen the worst of the spellcasters, fortunately. Gras uh, our fabulous secret entrance. Um. Oh shit, it's a chieftain, okay. Sure, sure, I can deal. Cool. There we go. Don't even need the mages. And that brings us back here, and the reason I want to be here is because I want to go back to the basements. I'm gonna keep exploring this place first. And then finish off with the ground floor. Um, there we go. 
do, do, do. Hopefully they didn't respawn too many assholes. Um, there's something here. There's a building here, but don't immediately see a way to get in. And this just brings us back here, huh? Okay. So what's in the building? 